Did you know that the shoe industry is lying to you? Supposedly, according to what I read online. And what's in this box aims to prove that. So these are shoes by a company called Lems. And what Lems makes is called barefoot shoes. And barefoot shoes typically have, from my understanding and my research, three things. Firstly, they have a zero drop, which means the heel is the same height as the toe and your foot isn't angled forward inside the shoe. Secondly, they have relatively thin insoles, which allow you to feel the ground and use more of the nerves in your feet to actually feel what's going on. And thirdly, they have a wide toe box, which allows your foot to spread naturally because when you step down, your toes spread out. And typically in regular shoes, they come to a point and it doesn't let your foot spread like it should naturally. So the goal of these is to provide as close of an experience to being completely barefoot as possible. Now the particular shoe I'm gonna be reviewing today is called the Lems Black Chukka Canvas, the men's version. There are plenty of other shoes out there by Lems that are actually barefoot. They have hiking boots, they have running shoes, and I believe they have a couple others as well. They have other versions of this Chukka that are in suede and corduroy as well. But after doing some research, I found there's other companies out there. Some of the ones that I found were Vivo Barefoot, Feel Grounds was another one. Merrill makes their barefoot shoe. That's probably one of the more popular ones that people actually know about. One last thing I wanna preface this with is that I've never worn barefoot shoes in my life. My previous shoes were shoes by Adams, which I'll put a picture of here so you can see them. They were very cushiony, very soft, very comfortable, at least I thought they were. And I, liked, I do like those shoes, but I read about barefoot shoes online. I read about the benefits that people claim, and I thought it sounded interesting enough to me that I wanted to try it. And I pretty much buy into things as soon as I read about them. So this is just something that I bought into. And I thought it'd be interesting to make a review about these because I saw this particular shoe online. It was my favorite one I found out of the ones I saw. And I didn't really see many reviews of this on YouTube. I just saw a couple like videos of people talking about the shoe. It wasn't really an in-depth thing. So without further ado, let's get in to the box. Getting into the box, we have a logo on the front, nothing on this side, a logo on the back, another logo on the side, and a label on the side of the box that says unisex, even though these are listed in the men's section on their website. So women, I'm guessing you can also get your pair there. There's some more branding inside the box, and then on the lid of the box is actually this little paragraph, which I'm gonna give you the opportunity to pause the video if you wanna read it. After this, we just get into the box, and it's pretty standard, nothing special. You got paper you pull back, you pull the shoe out, and then there's more paper, and then another shoe. This is pretty much every shoe box I've ever opened. And then you get the shoes. And looking at these, there's not much to them. There's a Lems logo on the tongue and a small tag on the side that also says Lems. That's on both shoes. And then coming around back, we got the little cloth loops to help you pull the shoes on. And the shoes come with these cardboard inserts that help them keep their shape. Also, here's a better look at the Lems tag on the side of the shoe. Moving on, these shoes have a nine millimeter outsole, which is made of air injection rubber, which I thought was pretty light and squishy. And I liked how it felt. Moving on, we have the logo at the bottom of the heel that we all know is gonna rub off. And moving up the shoe, we come up to the wide toe box and immediately you can tell these look a little bit different than regular shoes. And I'm actually gonna pull back my old shoes right here just so you can see the difference in the shape of the toe. According to the website, these shoes have a 13 millimeter stack height, which just means the distance from the bottom of your foot to the ground is 13 millimeters. And that includes a three millimeter insole. And you can see just how thin it is. And just because I know people will also be interested, I'm going to include a quick shot of the shoe without an insole. All right, so getting the insole back in the shoe was pretty simple. Just slid right back in. And let's move on to the flexibility of the shoe, because that's another selling point that they often mention. Now, other barefoot shoes are going to be way more flexible, because they have stack heights down to even 4 millimeters I've seen. But these shoes are still fairly flexible, and they have a lot of twists to them. One test I wanted to do is just mangling these shoes because I'm guessing a lot of people are going to want to pack these into a bag and I can't speak for it long term, but short term, they seemed to bounce right back. So for comparison, here's a shot of me bending my old shoes and while I wouldn't necessarily say they're harder to bend, they are hard to bend in any place except for this one place near the toe bed, unlike the Lem's shoes which seem to bend in a C pattern. For a more extreme comparison, here's me trying to bend my Clark's Desert Boot. As you can see, they also don't really bend anywhere else but the toe bed and they snap back pretty hard. Now, I do love these boots, but here's a quick side-by-side -side to illustrate how unbendy they are compared to the Lems. They weren't designed to be bendy, but I think it does a great job of illustrating how the Lems compare to normal Chukka boots. And moving on to the laces of the shoes, you can see that they have the Lems logo printed on the aglet, which I think looks pretty fun. And also, the laces are made of recycled material, which feel fine, but they do feel recycled. Here's a better look at the canvas material going down the side of the shoe, and as I was shooting this shot, I saw this scuff on the back of the shoe. So I wiped it off with my thumb, and it came off which was nice to see. Here's a sound demo of me scratching the canvas. Nice. 
The website says these shoes are 10.2 ounces for a men's size 10, but when you divide this number by 2, my men's size 11s are 10 ounces per shoe, which is even lighter than advertised. Now it's time to actually try on these shoes. When you get to the top of the shoe, it's able to open really wide, which lets you get your foot in really easily, and when I put my foot in for the first time, it kind of just slid right in. I didn't even use a loop in the back. The laces tied fine, there's nothing special about them, they're just shoe laces, but I did find that they were a good length. I hate when companies give you too long of laces, so that's a plus. Stepping into these shoes for the first time, I did find that they were pretty comfortable. I would describe them as an advanced slipper, like your foot just has a ton of room to move around and that's not typical with regular shoes. Even though my foot can move around a lot and had a lot of room to breathe, I didn't feel like I was going to break an ankle running in these shoes. Once I get some regular usage out of these shoes, I'll make sure to report if I broke any ankles. But for now, it seems pretty secure and I feel safe in these shoes. However, typically when I wear shoes, I want to wear two, so let's get the other shoe on. Once I had both shoes on, I was really able to feel how these felt. I felt like they felt quite nice, and I'm going to give you a couple samples of how these look in jeans. So here's how it looks with the jeans down. I'm guessing this is how most people are going to wear them, and I was worried about how these would look because of the wide toe box, but I don't think they look that weird. I think they look pretty normal. And for a better idea of how these look in shorts, I'm going to expose you to my absolutely blinding legs. And I think these look fine. I'm wearing quarter socks because I feel like if you wore ankle socks with these, it would rip the crap out of your ankles. But I plan on trying that anyways, so it should be part of my long-term review whether or not that actually happens. Here's a couple more tests to make sure the bottom of the shoe is stable. Nice. All right, so that about wraps it up for my initial impression of these shoes. These are the Black Chukka Canvas by Lems. I'm gonna go ahead and wear these shoes for about one to two months and then give a review of what I think of barefoot shoes in general. That was kind of the reason I bought these in the first place. And once I do that, I will be posting it on this channel. So if you're watching this video within 30 days of me posting it, that video probably doesn't exist. If I did make that video, then it's going to be linked after this video and you can go ahead and click on it or it'll show up here or wherever it shows up on the screen. One of these two corners, at least in 2021, when YouTube has the update showing it in those corners. If it doesn't, then Again, these are the Men's Black Chucky Canvas by Lems. $120 on the website, which is one of the things that I think is a big barrier to barefoot shoes right now. I noticed that they're all super expensive. I don't know why. But anyways, until next time, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it was a little bit helpful. Um, I don't want to be a full-time shoe reviewer. I don't know why I'm reviewing more shoes. I just happened to buy another pair of shoes and I didn't see reviews for these either. I'm guessing there's no reviews for shoes because it's so saturated and there's way too many shoes out there to review. But if you want these particular ones, that's what I think of them. And like I said, these have so far surprised me how comfortable they are just walking around my room. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Later. I'm going to go turn my air conditioning back on because it's way too hot in here.